purchase, and I, the price was down quite a bit earlier, and now it's not down nearly as much. So he may not be as uh, upset as I told you he would be, but uh, man, he's been buying a lot of gold. Is this size in a week or something? Two weeks. That is about the sweetest little pendant I've ever seen. Martin. Uh huh. This guy bought, all he bought was postcards. Uh huh. Uh, I don't know, what do you think? Eight bucks? That's still too much, isn't it? Well, it depends on how we ship it. Uh, boy, now I, this is, I don't know about that piece. That ain't looking quite right. This saw to be very bendable, and uh, it's not. The marking on it's very strange. I shouldn't have liked it. Anybody ever seen one of these? 1982. 10 grams of 14 carat. And it's marked 0.585. Well, they better do a little studying first because that's not 18 carat or 14 carat. It's 583, folks. Let me do my math because they're making me feel stupid. 14 divided by 24, 0.583. I don't know why they do that. Doesn't sound right, does it? I think it is right, though. I don't know why it's marked 100 bucks. I don't think there's anything easy in this lot. Am I familiar with this coin? I'm not. 14. But we'll need some additional research. I'm going to give you a little tip, and, and I've given you this tip before, but We'll go over it again. I'm always in a hurry here because there's only one of me and sometimes more lots than I can handle if I'm taking my time. But uh, this uh, big puff earrings like this, um, you know, it's marked 14 karat, but if you're in doubt or whatever on them, um, you can take them and and smash them like that. Now it's a shame to do that because uh, it ruins them and, and I tell people that they're gonna receive their items back in the condition that, the, that I received it in and so you know, nobody ever wants their stuff back actually is the truth of the matter. And uh, anyhow, um, if that doesn't smash like that then you should give it more attention uh, but it's a real time saver. Uh, working on a lot.
others handle this, but when I'm doing my stone thing, I uh, usually lay things out in the order that I'm scratching them. And you hear that squeak. Uh, normally gold won't do that. And these items here are very suspect. I, I think they're probably alright because you know, somebody evidently bought them for gold or I wouldn't be getting them in, so chances are uh, they're going to be good, but uh, they don't quite feel right on the stone, and uh, I, will, I will probably test these in uh, multiple directions, so to speak. And my file's missing, so I have to use the other file. Filing didn't feel right either, but you know, a lot of times it's just uh, being spooked from the market to being as high as it is. Now this piece here, I want to find out, I'm, I'm sure it's gold, but what I want to find out is, uh, is if, if it's under carat or if it's 10 carat, because the marking has worn off this piece, and it could be 10 carat very easily, and you see some... Uh, discoloration there like tarnish and, and that could be a sign where somebody has uh, has tested that has tested that for carrot purity before and it's all messed up already so I don't have to worry about damaging the thing but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to stick a little bit of uh, 14 carat acid on that and get it to stand up which it doesn't seem to want to and if it, uh, if the 14 karat acid discolors it, then I'm going to know that it is 10 karat gold or 12 karat or something. So, one more item in my scratching block and then we'll get to work on this mess. I actually hate to test stuff. I would rather rely on my instincts, but hey, sometimes instincts just don't cut it. Let's see if you guys can see a good view of that. Actually, none of our salespeople could make a 